What's up guys, Mr. Dan here, back again with another review in a series that I just kind of stumbled into uh, because I'm enjoying these films so much. Another one of the early Hammer film noirs. Uh, these are films that were in black and white and preceded most of the more well-known known, known uh, horror slash monster films that we're accustomed to. Uh, there's some pretty strong ha Hammer connections in this one where you, ha where you have uh, Anthony Hines producing and uh, even Michael Carreras, who would later go on to direct and produce a lot of well-known Hammer films. He's actually uh, credited with the casting of this film. And it is called, as you can see, Scotland Yard Inspector, also known as Lady in the Fog. And this is a really fun one that blends in a surprising amount of comedy, of a very light watch, a very easy watch at 118 minutes or so. And uh, let's get into it. It stars uh, Cesar Romero and Lois Maxwell. Cesar Romero, I don't think, needs any introduction. If, if you're old like me, you know him as the, the Joker from the Batman TV series with Adam West. Uh, he's fantastic in this, you know, he's l looking sharp. Uh, he's playing an American detective who's in uh, Great Britain, and he uh, gets caught up helping a young lady played by Lois Maxwell, who's trying to solve the uh, murder of her ne'er-do-well brother, who ha uh, has been run down in the fog. Uh, there's a lot of fog in this movie, and it seems to last for days. Uh, now, Lois Maxwell is, of course, known for playing uh, the money penny role in the James Bond films. Uh, she's a bit younger here, actually very young. She's very charming in this, and... Uh, she, she gives a nice turn as this sort of innocent young uh, woman who's trying to figure out what happened to her brother. And uh, she begins to get attached to the Cesar Romero character as he is investigating um, who could have possibly murdered her brother. And uh, there's another woman played by Bernadette O'Farrell who runs a nightclub. Uh, her brother was a, a frequent uh, visitor too. And, uh, you know, there, oh, there was some shady goings on there. And uh, it's kind of cute the way, almost right away, she starts to get jealous of uh, the two of them when Cesar Romero is sort of questioning the uh, Bernadette O'Farrell character. Uh, she's very good in this. The first thing he does is he takes her to Scotland Yard. Uh, he's going to call in a favor to an old buddy at Scotland Yard. He walks in and the film sort of has already established a somewhat comedic tone, but then he goes up to a, a detective and slaps him on the back, and it turns out it's not his buddy, it's another inspector, but he sort of explains what's going on to the, the Scotland Yard, and but then he also begins to uh, work on the case unofficially, and he finds out that this woman's brother really was kind of a uh, ne'er-do-well, always getting into schemes, and it's almost like not surprising that someone he would get involved in a situation where someone would, would want him dead. Uh, so the, it kind of allows the film to have a, a lighter tone. And basically, we learned that he was involved with, in almost like a, I guess you would call it like a startup com company involving automotive technology. And uh, then World War II broke out, and the government came in and took everything. And then you had a, a cast of characters who were kind of uh, trying to, to salvage you know, whatever uh, monetary uh, procurement they can get out of it, and uh, some jealousy erupted. There was a fire, okay? There may have been somebody assuming a false identity. Uh, somebody ended up in a men mental institution, and um, the brother also at one time became involved with, like, a B-movie film producer. So... Basically, you have the Cesar Romero character visiting this fireman, trying to figure out what happened. He's visiting this film producer. He's, you know, visiting the nightclub several times, and um, that that's kind of those. That's the setting of the film. It it moves along rather quickly, and uh, it it's actually a pretty interesting story uh, overall. And uh, I won't really go into detail, but you know, there's a there's a pretty somewhat exciting climax. And as I said before, what really distinguishes this is the comedy. Uh, when we first meet Cesar Romero, he's mixing a drink with an old bartender that he knows. 
And I don't know if you've ever seen the, any of the uh, Three Stooges shorts where they mix up these crazy drinks that's, where there's like smoke shooting out and everything. It's actually that level of ridiculousness. Um, there's almost like a mushroom cloud that comes out of the drink. It's, it's kind of silly. Uh, and then throughout the film, there's a few times where the Cesar Romero character is contacting a travel agent. And these scenes are pretty funny because first he's trying to get out and then he, he cancels it all and he wants to stay. And then at the end, this is all over the phone. Then at the end, they finally meet face to face. And the, the, the reaction of the very exasperated travel agent is, is pretty funny. And once again, I did watch this on YouTube on the Sprocket Vault channel. Uh, this is the same channel where I watched the other uh, Hammer film noir films um, such as Man Bait and Stolen Face. You can check out those reviews if you haven't seen them. And I'm, I'm actually going to make a playlist of all these. Uh, just to reiterate, this was a really fun film. Very easy watch. I really enjoyed it. Uh, very light and... Uh, Let's take a look as we wrap up at some of these cool posters from different countries. And uh, are you guys fans of Cesar Romero? Let me know. Who isn't? I mean, that's a silly question. But uh, <laughs> who remembers him as the Joker? I mean, I, I guess everybody should. At any rate, thanks a lot, guys. Uh, remember to check out my playlist of all these uh, film noir films from Hammer. And I'll catch you next time.